Hi there, this is Tiffany from iHeartArtBlog.com and I'm on the Sizzix design team. This is a new product that has just been introduced to the Sizzix product line. These are the Ink Sheets transfer films and I am absolutely in love with them. They are super easy to use. And so for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how I used these white ones along with these new dyes by Sharon Sowell. They're beach themed and I think they're adorable. So this one is the Sizzix Children in Sandcastle Thin Lips Dye Set. It, it's an eight pack, so it comes with this one Thin Lips Dye as, long, as well as all these other little shapes and icons. And then I'll be using this Sizzix Sandcastle Thin Lips Dye and it's just one big um, intricate Thin Lips Dye. And I love the dyes and I love the examples I've seen online, but I wanted to keep it a little bit more simple and a little bit more graphic and more my style while incorporating the ink, ink sheets transfer film. So let's begin. In order to use the ink sheets transfer film, you're going to need your magnetic cutting platform, an ink sheets transfer pad, an A2 card base, I'm using Craft. I love the look of the white on the Craft. And then you're gonna get your ink sheet and it's gonna be matte on one side and glossy on the other. And you want it to be matte side down, glossy side up. And then your Thinlet dye face down, followed up with a watermelon cutting pad and you can use any color. We just introduced three new colors. And now you run that through your die cutting machine. I like to use my Sizzix Vagabond because it's electronic and there's no cranking. When you've run your sandwich through your die cutting machine, this is what it'll look like. To finish the card, I'll be adding a little sentiment banner using the Sizzix Thinlets die set. It's a 13 pack celebration words block and I love these because you can use the, um, the, the negative or you can actually use the letters that it cuts out and they're all equally spaced so if you decide to use the negative you won't have to worry about aligning them. But for this one I'm actually going to use the little letters themselves and in order to cut these you're going to use your magnetic platform, your mint cutting pad or whatever color you have, your piece of pattern paper or cardstock, and then your letters or words face down. I'm also going to add these little shapes into the sandwich. This is from the Children and Sandcastle Thinlets die. And now I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. When you're done die cutting, you can remove the words, these Thinlets words. And like I said, you can use this negative. So I'm going to save this for a different project and I'm actually going to use the little letters that I cut out. So using this die brush and foam pad for the wafer thin dies, I'm going to remove these little letters and this tool is so cool because before I was using washi tape or an old glue dot to remove it. This one is perfect. You just roll the die brush on top and then you can see that the letters come out undamaged. I find that it helps to sort of hold one end of the thinlets and use the brush to go over. Look at that, perfect letters every time. Nothing's broken or torn. Look at that, you just saved yourself a whole lot of time trying to remove those letters. I even used to throw my die down to try and pop them out and it never, it only worked about half the time. So this is the die brush and foam pad for wafer thin dies. Highly recommend this little doohickey. And then I'm gonna show you these little shapes that I die cut. 
And they're so cool, they're so tiny, but you can see that um, there are these little embossed areas right there. This one is a little beach ball and it's embossed. There's some little impressions right there. If I, you flip it over, you can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna save those as little embellishments for my card and I've separated them. These are the plastic flower, flower pot trays, and they're usually used for the Susan Tierney flower collections, but I like to use them for um, separating all my letters or my little, little things that I die cut. That way I don't lose them on my workspace, and they're, they're the perfect size. So here are the two cards I created using Sharon Sowell's Thinlets Dies, the Sandcastle and the Children with Sandcastle with the Ink Sheets Transfer Film in white. So this is the card that I showed you guys using the cool staggered banner. And then this one is the one using the large sandcastle die. And what's so cool about the white ink sheets is that it's similar to having a white ink and stamping without all the long drying time or embossing powder or heat gun action. It's just really cool that you can use your thinlets dies as images. It's just really neat. So you need to get your hands on these Sizzix ink sheets transfer films. I love the white and the gold. So again, this was Tiffany from the Sizzix Design Team. Thanks for watching. Bye.